Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. The way of which we think about things could be doing more harm than good. Now that's been rattling around in my mind for quite some time and it's been something which I've been wanting to bring to my channel for a little while now. It's something which I struggle with, to be quite honest with you, and the way of which I can describe it is if you're stressing about something, if you're worrying about something, and almost if you think of it as that you're worrying and you, your mind wanders down a path and yet you keep going and you keep worrying a bit more and you keep adding a bit more and then perhaps you might get a bit obsessive and then you're worrying over sometimes unnecessary things and then you're worrying about things which are out of your control and then of course you're actually worrying about what you started worrying about. By the time you kind of pick up how you're getting your mind frame and how busy your mind is and how it's actually making you feel so it's starting to have an impact on your physical uh, well-being and health you've actually forgotten about what you've started worrying about at the time or or if that's not the case it's just got all too much now an analogy um, an analogy of which uh, I always think about it is if you you start off with a worry and then that sort of worry festers and then the, the sort of the ball of yarn is to speak, gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And those worries transgend into something which is actually quite heavy and quite problematic to carry around with. But that's up here. That's not physical what we're holding on to. So then when we go to try and do something which we're actually wanting to do or we're looking forward to, whether it be work or perhaps something at the weekend with a family or your partner or whatever, then your mind is so busy and so coiled and wrapped up in that big ball of yarn or down that path which you've worried and stressed over, you can't find your way back to your healthy well-being you, it all just gets a little bit too much. So the way of which we think can often do more harm than good. Of course there's an, there's an absolutely natural element in life that it's not always going to be happy. It's a healthy perspective to think that there is always going to be an element of sadness which we have to deal with and an element of stress and an element of worry. The elements of stress and worry is a bit of a, it's it's up to us how to keep that healthy, how to keep it uh, relatively connected to your personal situation. For example, you could worry about something which you've not got any control of at all, or you could worry about something which is going to come up in a couple of weeks' time. But then the things which are probably more important to you, worrying about your children. So for me, worrying about my nieces and nephews going back to school today. Um, my, uh, my youngest little, uh, niece, who's starting school this week. Um, different things. My family have been through quite a few storms lately, so it would be nice to see those storms go. And actually, it's just turned into a really lovely, beautiful, sunny, uh, sort of, what are we, later afternoon, early evening. So believe you, my friends, those storms do pass. But that healthy kind of concept about how we think about things. So there's an element of stress and worry is always going to be in life. And how we control that and how we hold on to that is healthy. Okay, so an element of it is healthy. When we go too far and when we obsess and when we try to control things which we can't and when we try to take control over absolutely everything in our life and we try to we try to coordinate absolutely every every kind of happening, whether it's good or bad, when we start to do that, we almost start to categorize everything in life it starts to really take a toll and your mind. So for example, if you're in a situation and you are really struggling with stress at the moment, perhaps you're really, really anxious, perhaps it's just worry after worry, perhaps you can't sleep at night, have a moment to yourself, okay, and just actually think, write it down. What are you stressing over? What are you worrying over? And actually think about it, that how you are thinking about things, it could actually well be doing you more harm than good. Moving that on from something which, because that's a huge aspect of my life, which I'm really, really terrible at myself. I'm, I'm great at helping people, but I'm really, really, really bad at taking my own advice on that. Number one, because I care. And number one, because I love all my family dearly and I want the best for them. And it's really, really hard to almost not preempt things, or if you've been through something, um, not to kind of preempt and want to share that experience, that knowledge to make sure that they don't go through that. Um, so that's where I'm at. But if you're in that situation like me, I have to learn, you have to learn, okay, that we have to keep a healthy grip over it. When it gets too much, we start to suffer up here. Think of the analogy again, the ball of yarn. If we just let that get 
bigger and that festering sort of heavy ball of yarn of worries and fears and stresses and anxieties. We're carrying that around all day, but not in our hands, in our mind. How on earth are we ever going to get anything done what we need to? How on earth are we going to enjoy things? For example, moving on, all of the time we take when we stress and worry over things, and it could be many things, and of course, all very, very valuable to us, I am not for one second sitting here saying that all worries and stresses have no value. They all have value because that's what makes you, you to worry, to care and to stress over those things which are you're holding on to. But the one thing what we need to have a healthy grip over is that the time we take worrying about things which we cannot change, stressing about things we cannot change, as long as we do our best in every situation, as long as we work hard, okay, we need to then put it aside because all the time we overbearingly worry, and that, again, that analogy of that ball of yarn, we're carrying that round, but up here, we're not concentrating on actually enjoying life. And let's be honest, life is not a forever. It's not a dead certain in absolutely anything. And when you think of it like that, what you're actually doing is you're taking time to worry and stress, and you're going round in circles, okay? And actually, you're not living your life. Never ever be afraid of making mistakes because that's what grows us that's what makes us the individuals we are. Um, I think taking this to a slightly different concept, again, how we think about things could be doing more harm than good. So let's change this notion slightly. I can sit here having been through a number of operations and health problems and unfortunately still having problems now, but yet it doesn't define me. It doesn't, it doesn't negatively change. Um, sorry, it doesn't define me as a person. Yes, it's a whole bunch of negativity, but it doesn't change my positive outlook on things or where I'm going to be in life. But again, that's mindset. So for example, I could sit in this situation, I could say, do you know what? I'm dealing with some pretty grim problems at the moment and the next couple of months, there may be some pretty difficult appointments to attend and there may not be some pretty great times. And actually, what am I going to do? Actually, it's all dark and it's all bleak. I could think of it that way. Or I could think, actually, do you know what? We're coming to the back end of the summer. There's still some great things to come, but actually there's gonna be a few moments where I'm gonna to have to get serious. I'm gonna to have to be really grown up. I'm gonna to have to make some decisions which may impact the rest of my life. I'm gonna to have to be real for a moment, but shortly after, I'm gonna go back to my wonderful family at home. I'm gonna do something nice at the weekend. I'm gonna plan for my next adventure next year in the summer. I'm gonna plan for where I want my life to be. The mindset, the choice of the mindset can do harm or it can do good. I can say, actually, do you know what? There's some really nasty things coming up at the moment. I don't want to see the world. I'm really frustrated at the world. I'm just going to shut myself away and do nothing. You can do that up here. Or you can say, actually, do you know what? There's only one of me in this world. I'm a strong individual person. I'm capable of everything on what is going to be put to me. And I'm going to get through this and there's going to be bright blue sunny skies around the corner. But I'm going to have to be a bit switched on, a bit more serious, but I'm going to get through it. That mindset, a healthy, strong, positive, capable mindset we can all choose. Now, not in every situation, but most of the time we've got a choice. OK, do I keep spinning the cogs in my mind of negativity, darkness, bleakness, or do I actually think, do you know what? Break that cycle. And if that means actually, do you know what? You can't cope with it right now. Write what you're worrying down. Stop. Leave the room you're in. Watch some TV. Go for a walk. I don't know. Take a, take a hot shower, go out in the garden and just completely take yourself out of what you're worrying over. If you come back and it starts over again, okay, just break things down simply. But hopefully you'll come back and you'll have a bit more of a clearer perspective. And then what you need to start to do is, for example, I always write things down so I've got a clearer perspective on it. And if I'm worrying about things, which, for example, um, I've got no control over straight away, then I tell myself, do you know what, Bradley, right now you're on such and such a day, you've got tomorrow, which you're really looking forward to, you're dealing with what you can today, you're doing your best, the rest is over to you in your mind to actually block the rest out. And if you can't do that, which a lot of people can't, okay, just break it down into simple notions. So just for a moment, take some deep breaths, you're worried, perhaps you're really, really anxious of where you are. Perhaps you can't stop those thoughts in your mind and that is making you have a real harmful effect on your well-being. And perhaps you're sat in your situation, it may be health, it may be finances, it may be something going on in the family. Take a few deep breaths and actually just control on you for a moment and then take a little bit in extra of what you can and then take a little bit extra from what you can on this side. And then soon 
you're just going to take those short little breaks and you are going to start just changing the habits of how you function. Because my friend, if you can get out of that notion, okay, of that constant spinning of the cogs of negativity on how we think, okay, because it can actually do more harm than good, really, really break it down slowly. For example, another example of that is, let's say, for example, people haven't, uh, you haven't, you're not exactly where you are with with where you want to be in life, okay? Concentrate on who you are right now and what you've done, okay? So for example, today, I've got my family around me, I'm positive, there's only one of me, I'm a strong individual, I've got a job, I've got a wonderful home, I've got a wonderful family. That's not gonna be the same for everybody, okay? So again, it's just taking a step back. Start basic, start small and build it up. Take something from this pile of things, take something from this pile of things and just give yourself a break. So. I think my, my greatest tip would be just be kind to yourself, be kind to your mind and just breathe and take time because sometimes how we think about things can be making things so much worse, okay? As we know, nothing in this life is a dead certain. We've only got to turn the television on and watch the news wherever you are in the world, okay? But what you really, really need to take that perspective of actually that, do you know what? Just take a moment. Take a moment and be kind to yourself and think positively about yourself. So for example, if you're in a real gloomy position financially, take a deep breath, look around. There will be an aspect of positivity in your life. Concentrate on that first of all. And if it is all too much for you to bear, literally start as very, very basic, but so, so such of a blessing, you woke up this morning, you're healthy and well, you've got accommodation, you've eaten today, you've had breakfast, Start simple like that. And if you're in a much more privileged end of the corner, of the corner of life as to speak, the spectrum of life, then do you, know, do you know where we're going with this? Start with the basics, be kind to your mind. If you're stressing and worrying about so much, you've gone too far, you've left you almost. Bring it back to you. Be kind to your mind, okay? Yourself and your mind. On that note, I really, really, really hope okay, that you uh, have really taken something away from this. It's something which I spent a lot of time thinking about and trying to improve. So I beat myself up, for example, I'm not where I want to be in my life. I'm 31, I've not bought my property yet. I'm not married yet. I've not, I've not even met a girlfriend yet. Um, I've not got children yet, but yeah, I want all of that. Um, I'm still doing my studying. Okay, so I'm in, um, in, in my field. Um, uh, so I work in, I've got to be a bit careful because of the, the role I'm in, but I'm in accountancy um, and, I'm, and I'm, I'm happy, I'm where I am. And some days I wake up and I think to myself, oh my goodness, I've not got this done, I've not done that and I've not done this. Actually, Bradley, stop being absolutely ridiculous. Take a deep breath, look in the mirror, breathe. You've got a wonderful family around you, you live in a wonderful family home. You've got through several operations, you're getting your health back together, you're concentrating on you, you're making sure that you are healthy and well. You are learning to love and look after yourself because you have to before you can love and look after anybody else. So just be kind to you. At the end of the day, start basic. And if you can't even do that, go right back to the beginning. Wake up first thing in the morning. Thank God that you've woken up. You've got the blessing of life. You've had breakfast, you're in accommodation. The sun is shining. Do you see where I'm going? Find that positivity. And sometimes just break it away from how your mind works. If you've got such a busy mind, write it down. And literally in short stages, get yourself a journal, write it down. And actually, if you think you've got intrusive thoughts going on, obsessions going on, if you write down what you're worrying or what you think of yourself, you're feeling really, really gloom, why? Write it down, okay? Then literally once you've done that, shut the book, okay? Go and do something nice, what you enjoy. Go for a walk, listen to some music, have a hot shower, whatever, come back to it. And then if you're ready up here in that mind frame to have start having a look and to think about things, you'll find that your mind just automatically starts to file through things and you feel better. Never ever compare yourself to anybody else. They're already taken, they're already busy with what they're doing. And if you think that somebody has got it more together than you, they are just making a face and act because everybody goes through this. It's a perfectly human nature fact. Everybody goes through something in their life which panics them and literally they are just wanting to run for the hills. I would say that was a perfectly human nature to do that because you worry because you care, whether it be you, whether it be people around you, whether it be the situation you're in. Right now, you're not concentrating on you. You need to tone it all back, bring it back to you, be kind to yourself. On that note, God bless, take great care, and until next time, I look forward to seeing you then. Bye for now.